my name is Joe Canning and I'm a principal with EMA Partners and I'm here again as a part of the Women in Payment speaker series, My Career in Six. And today I'm delighted to be joined by Tracy Black, president of Payments Canada, who is gonna share a little bit about her career journey. So welcome Tracy. And I would just ask if you could offer us a few words of introduction. That's great. Thank you, Joe, for having me. It's a, it's a pleasure. Uh, so I've been working in the payment space in Canada for just over 20 years, and I've been the president and CEO of Payments Canada since March, 2020. Fantastic. So I'm gonna start off asking you six quick rapid fire questions, and then we'll get into a little bit more detail. So just to kick us off, who or what inspires you? What inspires me these days is nature. I've been spending a lot of time outside over the last year and a half. You and me both. And do you attribute your success to good luck or hard work? Both. And I think they're complementary. And what propels you forward? A sense of purpose. Uh, I think it's very important to have passion for what you're doing. And do you have a favorite quote or, or a motto that, that you live by? Uh, there's a Winston Churchill quote that has inspired me, and that is, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It's the courage to continue that counts. Wise words indeed. And when applying for a new opportunity, what percentage of attributes do you feel that you need to have deep expertise in, you know, in order to feel really confident about your application? Um, I'm going to answer this in a slightly different way. And, and I'm going to say that um, I think you need to be 90% confident in your ability to be successful in the role. And you have to be able to articulate that confidence to others. You know, I think self-confidence is key. And, you know, from your unique vantage point, um, what would you say is the coolest payments company around today? No, that, that's kind of like asking me to pick a favorite child and I can't do it. <laughs> I'm certainly not going to ask you to do that either. Um, so let's move on to some more detailed questions and we can learn a little bit more about your specific career journey. So the first question that I have, Tracy, when you look back, what has been the greatest challenge that you faced in climbing the career ladder in the payments industry? I'm very good. I'm an optimist, uh, and I'm also very comfortable with ambiguity, which are all positive attributes when applied properly. Uh, but it also uh, creates an opportunity for me to be perceived uh, as impatient. Uh, so I've really worked on becoming more patient, uh, but I'm always looking for the most efficient way to get to the answer. Right. And greatest career accomplishment? Um, I played a significant role in Canada's implementation of EMV or, or chip and pin. Uh, and there was a large payment stakeholder management component to that role. We had stakeholders from across the ecosystem. Um, there were some difficult learning experiences on the way through, but uh, the time spent understanding the perspectives of the different ecosystem stakeholders really positioned me well for all of my subsequent roles. If there's one thing when you look back that you could have done differently, what would that be? And, and based on that, do you have any advice for you know, young women who are looking to you know, enter or come in, up in this industry? Um, I took a, a role at a large organization early on in my career. It was a very intriguing one of a kind type of role. And I, I liked uh, the woman who, who was my boss. Um, I was a little bit worried about the size and the culture of the company. Uh, and when I was interviewing, I asked if I could meet my boss's boss as part of the interview process. And I was told that that wasn't possible. It made me uncomfortable, but I took the role anyway. Uh, I struggled in the role and with the company and I didn't last. Uh, and so my advice to others is to take a close look, not only at the manager employee relationship, uh, but request to meet the people who are going to support you and have your back, know what you're getting into. No, I think that's great advice. And I think on that point, you know, what have you done specifically to, you know, help others and bring them along on their journeys? Uh, well, the, the payments industry is, is rich with mentors. Uh, there are, uh, is a broad range of stakeholders in the ecosystem, and there are many, many informal mentorship opportunities. Uh, I think the focus uh, for me and for Payments Canada right now is on the summer student program. Um, so it's, it's really helping students in their first real jobs at their first real companies uh, to provide an environment where they can contribute and grow. Uh, and our hope is that we give them their sea legs uh, and that they carry their Payments Canada experience and knowledge uh, into their future jobs, whatever they may be. And how important would you say, you know, your networks and your connections have been in, in helping to shape and build your career? Very. Uh, networks are the luck part uh, of finding your next role. Uh, and I think um, uh, it's important to think about the quality of your network over the quantity. So having thousands of social media connections is not going to be as helpful as having 25 or maybe even 10 very reliable, well-placed supporters. So, you know, I can, can I can attribute two of my best career moves to, to one of my fantastic supporters and, and he knows who he is. 
Well, hopefully he's watching. <laughs> and <laughs> as a prominent female payments executive, um, you know, what have you done specifically to really help shape the culture at Payments Canada? And also, how receptive has the organization been to the changes that you've made? Uh, COVID has created a whole different working environment. And um, one of the things that has been true throughout COVID is that we've had to make decisions, important decisions often without uh, full information or using assumptions that are very challenging to validate. But you know, decisions have to be made. Uh, we're an organization that takes risk and reputation very seriously, but there have been occasions where we've had to say, oops, you know, we, we made the wrong decision. And, uh, and now that we have more information, we're gonna change direction. And that was hard. That was really hard the first time, second time too. Uh, but I would, um, I would say that the organization as a whole is becoming much more comfortable with this uh, level of ambiguity and this type of decision making um, and occasionally having to backtrack. Well, we are at the end of our session, Tracy. It's been an absolute pleasure sitting down with you today and learning a little bit about your career journey. Really appreciate all of the insights that you've shared with us today. So thank you so much for your time. Well, thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.